in this short video we are going to show a case of acute corneal hydrops managed with full thickness corneal compression sutures an 18 years old female non case of keratoconus presented to us with sudden onset loss of vision and intense photophobia in her left eye for 3 days her presenting visual acuity in the right eye was 636 improving to 69 and in her left eye she was able to count fingers at a distance of 2 feet only still lamp examination of the left eye showed thickened and edematous corneal stroma over the vertical split of decimal membrane With a diagnosis of acute hydrops post keratoconic progression in the left eye the patient was started on 5% sodium chloride drops and fluoromethylone drops but there was significant delay in the resolution of edema so after 7 days we planned to apply full thickness compressive corneal sutures under aseptic conditions initially pupillary constriction was done intraoperatively by injecting intracameral pilocarbin 1% solution Next 2% HPMC viscoelastic was introduced to create the space between cornea and iris plane. Then a nylon suture was used to produce full thickness uh, compression of the cornea. Technique of suture introduction is positioning the sharp end of the curved needle perpendicular to the surface of cornea at margin of edematous cornea and clear cornea. Next entering directly to anterior chamber taking care not to damage the iris following which exit of the curve needle from the horizontally opposite end of the junction the suture is then tied and cut short and knots rotated into the stroma similarly multiple uh, full thickness corneal compressive sutures were placed centrally covering the edematous part of the cornea at the end viscoelastic is irrigated out and the port is hydrated from the 7th post op day there were signs of resolution and by the 28th post op day there was complete resolution of corneal edema giving a nebular scar with sutures the best corrected visual acuity recorded on the 28th post op day was 624 conventional medical management takes about 3 to 4 months for the hydrops to reduce with subsequent scar formation due to long standing corneal edema there is high risk for corneal neovascularization as shown by feder et al in his study which may further increase the risk of graft rejection after penetrating keratoplasty hence surgical intervention is important to hasten the recovery of hydrops